Welcome back to more of the Gaming Mind with Samuel Bam Let's Play of Darkest Dungeon. I do want to apologize for the last episode. I was not in a great mental state when I was recording those uh, those couple episodes, and also there was an episode of Cooks Are Delicious mixed in there that it just it was not. I was not, obviously not in a great mental state to record that, but I'm back. Even though I was thinking about just dropping these games for a little while and picking up a different game, I just figured, you know what? We'll give it another try. I'm not going to do some weird new stuff that I've never done before. I did decide to upgrade the stagecoach to get some more people now. So I'm going to get five people coming by every week instead of four. Obviously, that's to replace the heroes that were killed. And yeah, I also eventually want to upgrade enough of the things in here so that I can get uh, I can get I can potentially get some level two heroes to come by so that will lower the amount of grinding that has to be done. So my goal right now, long my longish term goal, my medium term goal, I guess my long term goal is to beat the game, but my like medium term goal in this game is to be able to get all four of my Crimson Curse characters up to level four so I can eventually take them in to fight the Baron. That's going to take some time though because I don't want to take more than one of them in at a time to any other dungeon because I don't want to have to carry a whole bunch of blood with me and I don't want to have a whole bunch of other stuff to have to worry about. So, you're bringing in our Crusader who I've given no trinkets to because he has natural as a positive quirk which gives him a huge HP, healing received, and speed boost. It doesn't boost his damage but his damage is already pretty good as it is. We have our Grave Robber who was our Crimson Curse person. She's apparently just regular Crimson Curse now. To give her the Lucky Talisman, which is sort of like a Feather Crystal, but not better, because it doesn't increase your speed, but it's a better dodge, and it increases your accuracy, which is great. And the Ancestor's Candle, I know that means she's going to be getting a lot of stress, but she'll be fine, hopefully. It's a short dungeon that we're going into. I have a Vestal with Feather Charm and a Churgeon's Charm. Feather Crystal, sorry. And we have our Antiquarian, who, again, I need money, because if you can see in the bottom left corner, I am very low on cash right now. So I gave her the Candle of Life and the Book of Intuition, so we won't get surprised quite as often. We're just going to do a short dungeon in the in the uh, in the ruins. I'm not going to use this trinket, this Gambler's Charm. I don't like the minus ten percent death blow resist; it scares me. But this is just a short quest, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Don't know though. Two shovels is probably enough for a short quest. I don't know though. Let's see. Um, we don't have a Lake Doctor, so I'll bring a few. Bandages and anti-venoms. Bring, let's bring a few medicinal herbs. We'll bring, I think three keys is plenty for that. And I think three holy waters is probably also enough. And yeah, let's see, we'll bring eight torches is probably enough. And I hope two vials of blood is more than enough. All right, let's go. I have dilly-dallied long enough in this intro screen. I haven't even started the quest yet. We're already like, three minutes in. It's fine. I try not to focus on those sorts of things. I try. I do my best. It doesn't work out a lot of the times, but it works sometimes. Okay. I don't really have much else. I'm just, uh, I'm just kind of, kind of moving along as best I can. This is being recorded on a long weekend because this is during the American Thanksgiving weekend or the United States Thanksgiving weekend, I should say. And because I work for the state government, we get Thanksgiving off and the day after Thanksgiving off. So I actually have a four-day weekend, which is nice because I also had this past Monday off. So basically my week was two days long, and I would like more of those. Thank you, and please. Okay. Let's see here. I have to decide whether I want to go... You know what? I might just skip that room because if there's a guaranteed fight, I can just leave it behind. You know, I can maybe go check what that curio is, but I don't want to go into the fight if I can help it. All right, great, immediate wall. Starting to wish I'd brought three shovels, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I have to remember to have my antiquarian selected for any and all... No! No. Game, what do you take me for? An idiot? I mean, yeah, fine. I can definitely be an idiot sometimes, but... No. We're not doing the Shambler. And we're not 
going to do just open up a bunch of open up a bunch of not a bunch of just open up a random now it must be carried home. hive I do not want to be dealing with any of that thank you very much that was a terrible first what who's it hallway that's what that's called it's okay we got a little bit of money okay good actually you can get some stuff out of this that's nice antiquarian is selected all right great I don't know why opening this with a key shatters the glass. All us Stone Cold Steve Austin, but apparently it does. Not complaining, I'm just... Why is this in the middle of the hall? That's kind of weird, right? Uh, this is... Holy water, right? I don't remember what it does. I think this is the damage buff, if I recall. I think this one's the damage buff. Let me try this. Okay. This is a damage buff. Cool. Just what I was hoping for, actually. That's great. Because now I don't have to worry about not having any trinkets on my Crusader. Because I got a big damage buff because of that Altar of Light. No scout. Okay. It's fine. Gonna run into a trap. Never mind. Not a trap. However, there could be... Ah, oh, there it is. Right on cue. Just as I was wondering, like, where is that trap? Oh, there it is, of course. Uh, no. Hold on. Get you selected. Get the right person selected. Why do I keep getting journal pages? I don't want your journal pages game. Get out of here. I don't even care. I don't even want the one that I have. Get out of here. Get out of my inventory. You're taking up space. Why does one page of a journal take up an entire inventory slot? It makes zero sense to me. Man, there are a lot of hives around here. I don't like that. Okay, right person selected. Just making sure. I was hoping for a map, actually. There's three journal pages. Why are there so many journal pages? What is going on here? What are you doing to me, gang? I could probably try and talk higher, uh, more higher pitched, but I choose not to this time. Mm, I'd like to take that, Jade. But I think I'll pass, unfortunately. Okay. There's a light level at. Light is... I feel like the light's getting lower a lot. Faster. Also, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay. Let's flashing dagger. Actually, I probably should just be using some sort of, like, damage-piercing attack on these guys. You know what? Let's do that. It's bulwark. Okay. What does this thing stun resist? 70. Uh, how much HP does she have? 12? Unfortunate. Do I have... Okay, I do have Invigorating Vapors. Let's do that. Okay. Okay, good. Also good. Let's let's do this. Dang. Was kind of hoping for a crit there, but that's fine. Just keep doing this. More dodges, always good. That's not okay. I'd say that's real bad. That's cool. Good. Nice resist. Healing back up. Ooh, good heal. Actually, I probably should have, you know. Probably should have healed the Antiquarian, since she got smacked earlier. That's not good. Okay, let's get rid of you, maybe? Precious Wonderful. Give them no quarter. Where are you on that? Okay, so you're still regular Crimson Curse feeling, apparently. You know what? No. Heal you up. You gotta take care of... Cool. Uh... Let's just keep buffing everyone else's dodge. I don't think there's much of a reason to bother doing anything else. So this is a 50% chance to stun him. Let's give it a try. Okay, cool. Still did a decent amount of damage at that. Let's go ahead and give him the tiniest poke. We're piercing. This should probably do more. Pretty good. Okay. Can we get rid of him now? Wonderful. Okay. What is that? Poisoned herb. 
I think I've seen that before. It's an uncommon trinket, so it's worth a little bit of money. I don't know if I want to drop the cash for it, because I will definitely get more money as time goes on. We're going to pass on this. I probably shouldn't have, I know, but it's done. 88 light, that's fine. Okay, no scouts still, but no fights in the in the various rooms, so it's not terrible. Go wait till then. Oh, goody. Goody. Great. Fantastic. Just what I was hoping for. Uh, what's his stun resist now? 70. Why does he keep dodging these attacks? Stop dodging these attacks, man. Good. All right. I don't even know what to do at this point. I guess that. Prepare ourselves for the inevitable horrors to come. Okay. If I can keep him blighted. What's his blight? Oh, his blight resist is down because I poisoned him before. How much blight does this do? Three? That's not great. But you know what? It still does a decent amount of damage. Really? He's going second now, huh? Fine, great, cool. Just what I was hoping for. Okay. I guess we're just gonna attack him as much as I can now. And now, we're gonna do that. Might as well, right? Probably not my best choice there, but oh well. A little late for that. Alright. Now is when everything falls apart. Oh wait, I can still keep him poisoned. Let's just keep going. I should really have her... I'm gonna... Yeah, I really should have had her protect. Of course he is guarding. Oh, he's not guarding who I thought he was. Okay. That's fine. Can I get rid of... Probably not gonna get rid of you, right? Eldritch, probably not, but it's worth a shot. That was actually closer than I was expecting. I'm going to have you do that. In case they decide to attack. In case they decide to attack the Antiquarian anymore. The stress is bad, obviously. Okay. Can we keep this up? Nice. The great crit there, actually. Okay. I'm just going to keep up the damage pressure on this guy because there's no point in attacking his other enemies, his other people at this point, I think. To me, anyway. I feel like there's not much of a point just because I would much rather get rid of his other. I'd rather get rid of the collector than focus on any of his other ads right now. I don't think it's necessary. What buff was that? I don't know what buff it was. That, okay, that's awesome. He, She dodged. Very nice. Okay. Well, I can't really do much else with the Crusader, unfortunately. Okay, that is pretty bad. I think he buffed, they buffed the crap out of him, so that's probably why that happened. Can we get, he's pretty close. He's blighted for nine. Oh, two HP away. Man. Alright. Well, at this point... Okay. Fine. We got him. That's the important part. And we got... Ooh, we got a puzzling trapezohedron. Which... That's worth a lot. That's 3,500 gold, right? Yeah. Okay, so is someone blighted or bleeding? I thought someone was bleeding. You're bleeding. Okay, let's give you a bandage. I don't want to drop the bandages just yet, though. But I don't know what else to get rid of here. I'm obviously not going to drop the blood. That would be ridiculous. Uh, I don't want to drop these gems. I don't want to drop the bust. I absolutely cannot drop the crests. I really need a lot of crests. Okay, we're going to drop the 100 gold for now. I really hope I don't regret doing that later. I doubt I will. I doubt I'm going to regret it much, I should say. Okay. Unfortunate empty sack. 
We didn't miss anything, right? No. Okay. Just making sure. The way is lit. The path is clear. No scout again. We got a scout right at the start and then nothing afterwards. I have two torches left. Yikes. Okay, that's fine. It's not horrible. Now we have three torches. Alright. I'm okay with this. Okay. Gonna have to hope that we don't have any more walls to deal with. Game. Now we get the scout. At least we got a, a scout at the very end. Of course, there's a fight there right at the end, but that's okay. That's fine. This is actually great. Give me this. It's holy water. It is. I'll take as much of that as I can. I can't take the... <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to drop the holy water, because I don't think I need it anymore. I know I could drop the antivenoms or the bandages, but I'm keeping them just so I don't have to deal with potential enemies that cause a lot of blight or bleed damage. And... Uh, yeah, let's drop the holy water. Because two citrine at least is 500 gold. It's something. Are you... What's happening? Are you having issues now? You're craving. Well... Bad timing for that to happen. I should probably just use up the rest of the food now. Hold on. Okay, let's use up those last two torches. And let's get everyone as close up to full health as I can. Okay, you are okay. Alright, that's as close as we're going to get. Okay, let's see what this last fight is. Oh good, we get to deal with this guy. Joy of joys. I don't remember what he does. It's been a very long time since I fought him. Okay. Let me think about this for two seconds. These guys have armor yet or no? They don't. Okay, they have 14 dodge though. Eeks. Oh, they have so much HP. This worries me greatly. Let's see stun resist. Probably very high. 70%. Okay. We're not going to worry too much about that just yet. Okay. Random crit. Ah, yeah, let's let's do this. Keep the bulwark going, I get Okay, really? Wow, we're all going first, huh? Okay. Part of me is very tempted to go for... Okay, I think that was worth it. I know I should probably have gone for the dodge buff on my party. But I also really would like to get... If I could have gotten rid of one of them, which I did, then I'm happy. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, that's pretty good. I know I should probably consider going for some sort of, like, something else. But I would much rather try to get rid of these enemies as much as I, as quickly as I can. Okay. I'm going to risk the stun chance here. Still did seven damage to him. Okay, here's it. That's fine. I think that... Okay, I was going to say, I think that hits everybody. But thankfully, he missed. Thanks to our high dodge chance. Okay, good. I'm going to try this done again. Still does a sh absolute crap ton of damage. I know it's because he's unholy. Uh, let's... I don't really think we need to worry about healing right now. I think we're good. Every little bit of damage helps. Uh, sure, let's flash powder him. Why not? I just realized he has a 95% um... 95% move resist. Maybe I should have gone for the, the poison there, but it's okay. She's missed a lot of attacks in this this um, dungeon. She's not... She doesn't have any debuffs for her accuracy, so I don't know what's going on with that. She's missed a bunch of attacks today. I don't know what's going on with my Vestal. It's pretty slow, though. I like that. Speed 1. Okay. That's pretty good right there. And that's why that move is scary, because you can stun your entire party if you're not uh, if you're not too careful. Okay, nice. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't go for the poison attack there. Wow, another trinket, huh? Move charm is whatever. 
not really worried about that. Okay, let's... You can just drop the last couple of bits of food here, right? Take those crests. It's just a random treasure chest. Uh, let's drop the anti-venoms. I know that... I know that's... Whatever, doesn't matter. I don't need to justify my choices. I didn't have the antiquarian open it. If only treasure could staunch the flow of other I always realize it right before or right after, obviously. Alright, we'll take those. Do I get an extra scout, maybe a secret room? No? Okay, that's fine. Okay, well we made a little bit of money. Not a whole lot. No rare antiques, unfortunately. But we got a decent number of gems. A little bit of money. This is that point where, like, a lot of money would really help. Obviously, a lot of money would help any time, obviously. But this is that point where I want to be starting to level up characters, give them better uh, armor and move, move sets and everything. So the fact that 20,000 gold is pretty good. I also got six busts, two portraits, and 18 crests. That's quite good. Nearly got our Vestal up to level four. Ruins Adventure? That makes sense! I lost Nymphomania, though. That sucks. S scientific. Alright, we're gonna get rid of that. That's for sure. Warren Scrounger. Okay. And Curious. We have to get rid of that, too. For sure. Okay. Well, our heater turned on. That's perfect timing for that to turn on right at the end of this episode. What do we have here? Minus 15% virtue chance next quest. That sucks. Okay. Well, then. Uh, we're going to get rid of some negative quirks. And, oh, right, I can maybe get some new characters. Ooh, who can we actually maybe take this time? Another man-at-arms. He's level zero, which really sucks. I was really hoping for a level one character right now. Because we do not have a lot of... We have a few level, like, two characters. I'd rather have a... If I could get a level two, that would be really not... Or a level one character, even. Because right now... Our vessel is basically going to level out at this point. Like the next quest she goes into, she's going to get level three, which means that we're not going to really be given much of a chance to level up anybody else. I did pick up a highwayman, by the way, after the last uh, the last dungeon. I'm really tempted to take that man at arms, but we'd also have to take. Well, if I took the man at arms, I'd probably just take that level zero vestal. But I don't really want to level up too many level zero characters, so I think I might pass on these characters for now. Unfortunately. See what the Nomad Wagon has to offer. Haste Chalice, Evasion Incense, that's decent but not fantastic. Lock of Patience is okay. Damage Stone is whatever. Bloody Bloody Dice is okay. Remove Charm, I just picked one of those up. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Dark's Dungeon. Please do like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. And I want to thank everyone for watching. And I will talk to you all next time.